Hi everyone, my name is Laura Pichon. This podcast is being recorded on November 6, 2019 in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Today, I will be discussing opioids and the effects they have on the body and in our country. Have you or someone you know been affected by opioids? If you have been, you are not alone and there are ways that we can help stop the abuse. The United States is currently in the midst of an opioid epidemic. The purpose of this podcast is to bring these issues to light and discuss the ways that we can help. Just last year, it was estimated that 10.3 million Americans, including children as young as 12 years old, misused opioids. In the state of South Dakota, over the last two decades, opioid overdose deaths have increased over 400%. If you aren't as familiar with opioids, these drugs include prescription painkillers such as morphine, oxycodone, and hydrocodone. Heroin and fentanyl are illegal drugs that are also considered opioids. Opioid addiction and dependency have become an increasing problem in the United States, which is why education is so important. Education is the tool that we need to help control this epidemic. Most people who become addicted to opioids do so after receiving a prescription for these medications for pain control. They could be prescribed after surgery, after an injury, to control chronic pain, or for a variety of other reasons. These medications are highly addictive and often leave the human brain wanting more. Often, people are not even aware they are addicted to the medication until their prescription runs out and they are no longer getting the medicine. When someone is addicted to a substance, they will experience withdrawal symptoms without the substance. Tolerance is also an issue with the abuse of opioids. Tolerance to a drug means that the abuser will need to take a larger dose or amount of the medication in order to achieve the same effects. This can easily lead to opioid overdose and death. Symptoms that may indicate opioid addiction or dependency are poor hygiene, mood swings, irritation, lethargy, and isolation. Fortunately, treatment options for opioid addiction have become more readily available. Treatment options include medication, counseling services, and support groups. Naloxone is a medication that can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose and has helped save lives. Naloxone is used by many first responders and can be prescribed and even purchased over the counter at select pharmacies. This medication may be beneficial to have on hand if you suspect someone you know could be abusing opioids. Although the opioid epidemic is very real and scary, there are ways that you can help. Opioids should always be safely stored and disposed of if they are not being used. Most pharmacies will correctly dispose of opioids or there are designated take-back sites located in most towns with a pharmacy. It is also important to be aware of how politics are involved in preventing the accessibility of opioids. For example, there is a current act in South Dakota called the Opioid Crisis Accountability Act that would, if passed, hold pharmaceutical companies accountable for false or misleading marketing of opioids. This means these companies would have to fully disclose the dangers of opioids and risk of addiction. The bill would also require mandatory reporting of concerning patterns within a state or community. Pharmaceutical companies would face fine or imprisonment if rules are violated. Most importantly, if you or someone you know is struggling with opioid abuse or you have questions regarding opioid abuse, you can call the Opioid Resource Hotline at 1-800-920-4343. Being aware of the danger, signs, and symptoms of addiction could help save someone's life. I'm urging you to expand your knowledge regarding the opioid epidemic that is currently happening in our country and help stop the abuse. Thank you for listening to my podcast today.